Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun card for you using the Autumn Expressions Bundle. Um, I am also using this paper that is called uh, Splendid Autumn, and it has some beautiful prints, but my favorite is the sunflower that's in here. So we're gonna make this sunflower card. You can see lots of fall, uh, beautiful watercolor patterns. <clears throat> the back has kind of a textured uh, watercolor canvas, maybe a uh, texture on the back. Um, I am also using a die from the Daisies dies um, to cut out our sunflower. Um, I'm using these two right here in Daffodil Delight and then this little center. I have cut that from uh, Cajun Craze. All right, well, let me show you how the card opens. It's a gatefold, but it's a, a sideways gatefold. And you pull off the ribbon like that and then it opens up like that and I've carried over that designer series paper on the inside. Very easy, um, simple card base, just opens a little bit differently than a standard card. And we're gonna hold it closed with that ribbon. Okay, let's do our stamping first. You're gonna need early espresso and a pecan pie. And I've done a little bit of cutting ahead of time. I've got a crumb cake banner from the Hearts and Hugs die set. We're going to stamp the sentiment on there. Let's see if I can get it straight. Normally I would recommend that you stamp first and then cut second, but for the sake of the video, I uh, did it the back backwards. Let's see. I was a little bit crooked. I need to come up a little bit on the left side. So let's see if I can do it. All right, much better. All right. And then we're going to stamp this, um, I don't know if it's grass or if it's wheat or what. It's probably just some grass. We're gonna stamp that on basic white uh, with pecan pie. Uh, we're gonna stamp our little tree slice also in pecan pie on a piece of just, uh, you know, just a scrap piece of pecan pie cardstock. And then I have cut out a tag from the Greetings of the Seasons dies, also pecan pie. And I'm just gonna stamp, whoops, I'm gonna stamp this tree slice all over it just to kind of give it a print, a pattern. All right, there we go. Okay, now let's die cut our pieces out. We need this die right here and this die right here. Um, now we're gonna also need the inside of this piece in Early Espresso. And this is another card that I have a video for. Um, when I cut this frame out, I saved these two pieces from the inside. So we're gonna use, I think the smaller one is the one that we're gonna use. If you wanna see that video, just look on my YouTube channel or my blog, you'll find it. All right, let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. Get these lined up and we'll run them through. Let's see if I can get that straight. There will be a free PDF on my blog that has the measurements and supply list for this project and two other projects using this bundle. So make sure you, if you're watching on YouTube, you hop over there and check it out. All right, let's put this all together. Let me get my sunflower and we're gonna make our tag. First thing that we're gonna need um, are our dimensionals because I love dimensionals. I think we're gonna go with the smaller of these. One is slightly smaller than the other. I think they would probably both be okay but I think just so that we don't cover up too much of the tag, I'm gonna go with a smaller one. And I'm gonna kind of have it hanging off like that. And then I'm gonna take my wood slice and put it about right there. And then we'll do our wheat or grass. And we'll put that one right there. Now for our sunflower, I should have glued this together already, but I didn't. So let's, let's glue it together after we have this bottom piece already on here. That'll make it a little bit easier. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue there in the center like that. And we'll set that right on there. And then I'll put, well I probably don't even need a little, little more glue because I already put a, seems like I put a little too much there, but we're gonna cover that up with the center. All right, and then last but not least, 
we'll put, let's put a dimensional just kind of right there and we'll put our sentiment across like that. All right, now the rest is simple. This is a four and a fourth by 11 inch piece of pecan pie cardstock that I have scored at two and three fourths and uh, eight and a fourth. And they will fold in and meet in the middle. I have two pieces of our sunflower paper. This sunflower paper looks to be hand painted. That's because, <clears throat> excuse me, that's because the artist did hand paint it. So you have a little, little uh, pack of hand painted uh, beautiful pieces of art. All right, and then we'll put this four by five and a fourth inch piece of basic white on the inside. And here's just a slice of that same designer series paper. And we'll put that right there. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna take our pecan pie center stripe ribbon and we'll tie that around. I'm gonna put the bow kind of towards the top. Okay, grab your scissors and you wanna cut these off at an angle. Like that. And then we'll use just a little piece of linen thread tie this on. The greetings of the season tags already have the little hole for you, which is really nice. And put that underneath your bow and then just tie that. And the person who receives this card can just slide it off and it'll all stay together. And then they can close it back up by just sliding that ribbon back on. And that's it. Isn't that a beautiful fall card? I think that's just beautiful. You could always change the sentiment if you wanted to birthday or thank you or whatever. Um, but any anyway, any any uh, occasion in the fall, I think this card would be perfect. All right, thanks for joining me. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog, uh, get that free PDF, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody. Bye bye.